Ever since Parliament enacted the Public Order Management Act, it has turned out to be what many political activists claim is a tool of repression to curtail opposition political gatherings. Just yesterday, police quoted the same law to call off a rally which had been organized by opposition political party Forum for Democratic Change. Dr. Kiza Besiji, who was stopped from proceeding to Rukunjiri district yesterday, says that the police's interpretation of the law is flawed. We cannot proceed to Rukunjiri. Why? Why? The plan of Why Dr. Is, is illegal. Section 2 says a public meeting does not include and that is the most important thing. It doesn't include a meeting convened and held exclusively for a lawful purpose of any public body. A public body includes government or any department of government. If they organize a meeting, it cannot be regulated by the Inspector General of Police. Two, a local government a body established by the constitution or an act of parliament, a registered political party or political organization. Mr. Kaihura is a lawyer, though I think his legal knowledge, he put it in the dustbin. The opposition flag bearer in the 2016 presidential polls, on the contrary, accuses the police of masterminding mayhem against the regime's political force. It's at the forefront of violating the law and of causing disorder. According to Besiji, the masses should heed the clarion call to stand up against the regime. To rally citizens to stand together to say enough is enough. In an interview with NTV at his home in Kasangati, Besiji lashed out at Kenya's deputy president, William Ruto, saying he lacks the moral authority to lecture Ugandans about politics. They came and engaged people who have a problem with unity. Our countries have a lot of scars arising from bad governance, arising from bad politics. And Kenya has had a fair share of that, just like Uganda. And so it is perfectly in order for political leaders in Uganda to share experiences with political leaders in Kenya. He also revealed that he's surprised about the recent remarks where the president is quoted as saying he will deal with violent elements with an iron hand. Anybody who tries to do that will be smashed completely. I think he only uh, must be commended for, for being honest about his intentions of crushing anybody who opposes him.